Hi, and welcome to Hoxton Therapy. This is a narration of one of our articles. Sleep problems. Sleep problems, one of the most common issues that we can face as individuals is that of a sleeping disorder. The concept of a sleeping disorder can seem quite strange to those who do not suffer themselves. One might wonder how someone could fail to sleep. Don't, don't they feel tired? The problem is that they do, but unlike others, they cannot get this, the rest or any rest to recover due to their sleep problems. Sleep disorders could be anything from a constantly restless sleep to causing immense life-draining problems in your standard and day-to-day -day function. It often causes immense feelings of trauma and sadness and usually can leave you with a significant challenge to overcome the disorder. As sleep problems get worse, they can cause you to suffer from substance abuse in a bid to overcome to deal with the stress caused by said disorder. Some of the common sleep disorders out there include insomnia, narcolepsy, sleep disorders involving breathing and cardiac issues, night terrors, rapid eye movement, REM, disorders and issues, restless leg syndrome, and hypersomnia disorder. There are more, less common issues involving sleep problems. Most of the time, the problem that you face is likely to fall into some of the problems above. If you are someone who fears that they might suffer from a sleep disorder, then it's important to do what you can to find some kind of treatment, dealing with sleep disorders or sleep problems. The most important thing that you can do is look, look to determine if you have a sleeping disorder. Like any group of dysfunctions or sleep problems, you can find that the traits are shared among disorders in the same group. For sleeping disorders, this includes a sense of persistent fatigue and tiredness without the ability to stay focused for prolonged periods of time, an inability to stay asleep for a long period of time or the ability to fall asleep in the first place, constant discomfort during the day and when trying to sleep, anxious, alert behavior and mood swings relate to rapid changes over small issues. Poor sleep habits include naps during the day, long time spent lying in bed in the morning, excessive early and late bedtime outside of lifestyle commitments. These sleep problems are among the most common that you might face, though other issues can exist for specific symptoms. However, with that in mind, it's important to note that treatment and therapeutic care can be among the most effective forms of treatment. You usually find that treatment stems from things like keeping a sleep diary, forced sleep restriction to create a harmonized sleep routine, control of stimulants, i.e. TV and video games, as well as bespoke development of a sleeping plan to try and help analyze your present issues and provide solutions. Other forms of treatment include going for therapy, from dark therapy by restricting lighting in the evening to prevent delays in sleeping times, to cognitive behavioural therapy. Many th therapeutic paths exist for those who wish to try and tackle their present sleep disorder. The best thing that you can do is to take action and to try and battle the problem. The sooner you deal with it, the sooner you can restore normality in your life. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that narration of one of our articles on our website, hoxtontherapy.com. Um, as usual, we have our podcast, which answers your question, and the name of the podcast is The Ask Hoxton Therapy Show. You can ask us questions on social media, and we will answer those questions in upcoming either video content, and of course, when our video content's done, um, our podcast content audio is done as well. So stay safe out there. It's COVID-19 at the moment. Until next time, goodbye. Never act on any advice given in these articles, videos or audios. Always seek professional help before acting on anything you read or watch or listen to on this website or in our podcast or on our YouTube channel or anywhere on our social media.